Gandalf, one of the most powerful characters in The Lord of the Rings, who played an important role in the defeat of Sauron. He's powerful, extremely wise, and inspirational. And then we have Maureen Damodred, a character from The Wheel of Time that begins the story in Gandalf's wise wizard role. She's also a powerful user of the One Power, wise for her years, and has a knack for taking out opponents that are far more powerful than herself. While they are both extremely powerful characters for good in their worlds, if they did happen to come face to face in a death match, who would win? Welcome back to the Versus series on the channel, where we pit two famous characters from sci-fi or fantasy against each other in a battle to the death. Silly and stupid? You bet. Fun? Damn right. So let's see who would win. Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings, or Moraine Damodred from The Wheel of Time. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of red, with major spoilers through the end of A Memory of Light. We'll be talking about some things that happen at the end of the story, so if you don't want spoilers for The Wheel of Time, come back to this video later. Also, spoilers for Lord of the Rings as well. I'll be diving into a bit from the main story as well, the other works from Tolkien, watch at your own risk. All right, so before diving into the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more Wheel of Time and fantasy related content. That's what I do on this channel. If you are interested in self-development or leadership development, I have a new channel called No Lead Grow that reflects what I do for a living. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, professional development and leadership development, that's the place. The last video that's up on the channel was five ways to be a better boss. And there is a video that's about to go up here in the next day or so that gives the best methods for time management. I'll have it linked in the description of the video if that is up your alley. But let's dive in. Remember, we operate under the following assumptions. Characters are at the top of their power in their respective stories. They keep equipment that was definitively in their possession longer than a few moments and that they used in combat in their stories. They keep their powers and abilities from their world, even when fighting somebody from another one. The characters are only given five minutes to prepare for the fight, and there are no moral qualms about the fight. They will fight to the death, regardless of their personal philosophies or if they're both good guys. All of the rankings, including infographics on each character with their rankings and the rubric that I used, will be posted on my Patreon for my patrons to look at after the video goes live. All right, with all that out of the way, let's find out who would win between Gandalf and Moraine. Now we'll start by talking about Gandalf. For those of you that have seen the movies, you may believe that Gandalf is simply a wizard. Well, he is far, far more than that. Gandalf's actual name is Aloran. He is an angelic being. He was sent to help the people of Middle-earth combat Sauron. And when I say angelic being, I truly mean that. He was what was called a Maiar, which is an immortal being that has been alive for essentially since the creation of the universe. He was sent to Middle-earth by even greater beings, called the Valar to help the people of Middle-earth. And although his human form is less powerful than his form as a Maiar, as he's constrained to the body of an older man, his power is immense. Moraine Damodred is an Aes Sedai, a wielder of the One Power. She is one of the wiser and more learned people in the Westlands, as well as incredibly powerful. She comes from nobility, but she is utterly driven by her quest to find and guide the Dragon Reborn. She has defeated multiple Forsaken that are far more powerful than she. As we discuss who wins, I will point out at first that this one is inherently difficult to judge here because Moraine's power comes directly from a hard magic system with very defined rules of what she can and cannot do. Gandalf comes from a very soft magic system where his abilities are never really truly defined. I will do my best to keep things to what we know Gandalf can do or has done and only expand on that a little bit. Yeah, we could make some assumption that he could do some crazy things that we've never heard of, but for the sake of this discussion, we can't really go there. But it's time to find out who would win. So we'll start with durability. Gandalf is an older man, despite being a Maiar. His body can be killed, even if his eternal spirit cannot. So if he's injured, Moraine can certainly beat him if his eternal spirit is sent back to Valinor. That being said, Gandalf appears to have some enhanced durability. He was able to fight against the Balrog for days in his mortal body and not succumb to death until the Balrog was actually killed. Additionally, Gandalf can cast protection spells around himself that prevent incoming damage. He can manifest a shield or a dome around himself that prevents 
pretty much any type of damage to a degree. Also, Gandalf is resistant to fire due to the ring he wears, but more on that later. All that being said, Gandalf still has a mortal body and can be hurt. So I'm going to give him a six out of seven for durability. Now Moraine is just a human as well. She's very small and if not frail, she's not hulking in any way, shape or form. What she does have is great control over the one power. She's able to create shields around herself with air and fire that prevent attacks from reaching her. She's very skilled with weaving and has had experience fighting other magic wielding opponents. Moraine is simply human though, without any extra durability to her body, so she gets a five out of seven for durability. Overall, for durability, Gandalf simply is just more durable, has more ways of preventing damage to himself, so he is gonna get the victory here for durability. Next, we'll talk physical attributes. Gandalf is again, an angelic being inside of a human body. He is not superhumanly strong, but he does appear to have some enhanced strength and endurance. He was able to grapple and hold his own in a fight against a Balrog, and at times he's shown on a number of occasions to have above average strength. He also battled that same Balrog for a number of days straight, showing that he has great endurance. So Gandalf gets a five out of seven for physical attributes. Moraine is very small. She's around five foot two. She does not have great strength or endurance. She is very determined and she's very mentally tough, but she does not have any physical attributes that set her above anybody else. In fact, she's probably slightly weaker than most people physically. She gets a three out of seven for physical attributes. Overall, Gandalf has a very clear advantage here and he gets the easy victory. Now for fighting skill. Gandalf has been fighting against the evil of Sauron for over 2000 years. And while not all of that time has been physically fighting, much of that time Gandalf is actually just inspiring others to fight, he does have a lot of experience. He is also shown in the novels to have extreme skill fighting both with weapons as well as with spells and power. He's able to defeat a Balrog, which is no small feat. He defeats countless orcs and is a figure that many enemies in the Lord of the Rings are fearful of facing. Gandalf gets a six out of seven for fighting skill. Now Moraine is not a slouch with fighting with the one power. What she lacks in skill with physical weapons pales to what she can accomplish with the one power. She has fought against and defeated several Forsaken. She has killed countless shadow spawn, and she knows offensive weaves like Balefire that give her the ability to basically defeat any foe. Moraine also gets a six out of seven for fighting skill. So even though they both scored a six out of seven, I'm gonna give the slight edge here to Gandalf as we see him against more foes using his skill. Most of Moraine's fights were against creatures that she was clearly more powerful than, or against Forsaken where she got a surprise attack. In our scenario, there is no surprise attack, so that takes away that advantage. Next, we have special skills. For Gandalf, as we mentioned, he is an angelic being of immense power. And while he isn't in his most powerful form as a wizard, he is still extremely powerful. Since we're taking him at his most powerful from the books, that would mean as Gandalf the White. And here are a number of abilities that he has. He can blast opponents with beams of light, either blinding them permanently or temporarily. He can command others through his voice. He has a form of telekinesis. He can call down lightning from the sky. He has abilities with healing. He can throw fireballs, read people's minds. And as we mentioned before, create protective shields around himself. He also has the ability to create destructive blast that creates a shockwave in the ground. He likely has so many other abilities that we don't know about that also enhances power. Gandalf has many different abilities at his disposal. He's quite powerful. So he gets a six out of seven for special skills. Now Moraine is also incredibly powerful. As an Aes Sedai, she can send blasts of air or fire. She can create lightning. She can cause things to just burst into flame create barriers of air, wrap people in air to prevent them from moving. She can heal the sick from almost death, create bale fire, which will cause things to cease to exist, and it can't be blocked by anything other than Quindiar. She can also create rolling blasts of earth and fire in the ground, among many other offensive skills. Moraine is incredibly powerful, and she gets a six out of seven as well. Now, although they're tied here, I'm gonna give this one to Moraine. Although they share some of the same skill set, Moraine is shown to be far more effective with her use of the one power. Next up, we have intelligence. Gandalf has lived essentially since the creation of the universe. He has gathered knowledge beyond measure, and while he's certainly not all-knowing, 
he does possess a great deal of knowledge, tactics, and information in his brain. Gandalf gets a 6 out of 7 for intelligence. Moraine is one of the smartest and wisest people in the Westlands. She's well researched, very intelligent, and knows almost as much as is possible for somebody to know in the world that she was born into. That being said, she isn't on godlike levels of intelligence, and she is certainly wrong at many times in the novels. Moraine gets a 5 out of 7 for intelligence. So Gandalf is again gonna get this round, but let's talk about equipment. Gandalf has a number of possessions which enhance his ability to fight. First, he carries an ancient elven sword called Glamdring. It's a powerful blade, and it is light enough for him to wield one-handed. Next, he has his staff. Gandalf uses his staff to channel his magical power, and it appears to enhance his abilities. Now, without his staff, there does appear to be a decrease in his power, so not having a staff can be a weakness for him as well. Lastly, Gandalf is in possession of an item that many who have only seen the movies are not aware of, and that is one of the elven rings of power called Narya. Narya is the ring of fire, and it gives Gandalf the ability to inspire to others to resist despair. He's able to hide himself from others using magic to find him, and it also allows Gandalf to become very resistant to fire-based attacks. Because of these items, Gandalf gets a 5 out of 7 for equipment. Now, Moraine carries one item that enhances her power, but it is extremely powerful. Moraine carries with her an Angriol that greatly increases her strength in the one power, allowing her to do even more than she could already. She later acquires a new Angriol that's almost a Saw Angriol that makes her even more powerful, but she only has that when she's been stripped of much of her ability to channel, so I won't count that for this fight. Moraine gets a 6 out of 7 for equipment. Moraine is going to take the edge here simply because her Angriol enhances her offensive abilities way more than Gandalf's do. So before we pick a winner here, a quick thank you to the video sponsor, Audible.com. Audible is the world's largest depository of audiobooks, and the Wheel of Time audiobooks are amazing, as are the Lord of the Rings audiobooks. If you have never listened to an audiobook, the best way to check that out is to use my link and grab a book for free. You can try out Audible service, but most importantly, you can decide if you like listening to them without any risk. Just head to www.audibletrial.com forward slash nameless and sign up for a free trial. You'll get an audiobook of your choice. You'll have no commitment. You never need to pay a dime. So check it out, get your book. But let's get back to the video. All right, so who wins, Gandalf or Moraine? Well, in total, Gandalf got a 34 out of 42 and Moraine got a 31 out of 42. So is Gandalf the clear winner? Well, I think it's more complex than that. Moraine does have more powerful equipment and tends to be more of a ranged fighter while Gandalf is set up more for a hand-to-hand -hand fight using his weapons. Gandalf rarely, if ever, is seen using his magic or his power to fight from a distance, while Moraine always does. I think the fight is going to come down to whether Gandalf can withstand Balefire with his protection spells. We don't really know the answer to that, so I'm going to assume because his power comes from the god of their universe, essentially, that it will block Balefire, otherwise this will be a quick fight. So Gandalf has to get close to defeat Moraine. In Balefire, she can't just wipe him out of the pattern immediately. But Gandalf does have to keep Moraine from wrapping him in flows of air and doing other stuff to defeat him. Gandalf has telekinesis. He has the ability to counterspell certain magics that are used against him. I think this is a closer fight than it looks like on paper, but I'm still going to give it to Gandalf six out of ten times. But I think there is an argument for Moraine to defeat him more if she knew his weaknesses, let's say, to losing his staff. So who do you think would win? Let me know in the comments of the video. Make sure to also like the video if you like this type of content and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Wheel of Time book and TV show content as well as other fantasy content. That's all I do here. Huge thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. I appreciate all of you. If you wanna support the channel, make sure to click the link in the description of this video. Top level patrons get to pick video topics and participate in the direction of the channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these videos here that you also might like. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace out.